Now we need to go to input. We need to input tank data. Okay. Tank data. You can see the tank type is gas reservoir. And I will call it tank 1. The temperature is at 166. With initial reservoir pressure of 5300 PSIG. And the porosity is 15% or 0.15 in fraction. And then for the Connaught water saturation is 25% or 0 0.25. For water compressibility, I will use correlation. And let's say I already know the original gas in place, okay? Based on static calculation or based on other calculations that are reliable, I know that my in place, my original gas in place is 2000 billion standard cubic feet. And I want to start the production from January 1st, 2008. All right. You can check validate. Okay. And then click next. Now we need to input the water influx model. Let's say, let's say I already know the model for my aquifer. And I know that yeah, and I know I, I have aquifer in this gas reservoir. And let's say I have done the analysis and I know that to best match the aquifer performance, I should select this one. And the system is radial aquifer. And let's say I already know the reservoir thickness is 120 in feet reservoir radius. Let's say I already know 5,000 feet with outer inner radius ratio 5 and encroachment angle 100 degrees, 180 degrees with aquifer permeability 20 millidarsis. darcies. Okay. And then for the raw compressibility, let's say I know the exact number from my core data, I select user specified 3,5 e to the power of minus 6 per PSI, right? The unit for yeah this one for compressibility. Okay, and then for the raw compaction, no need to input it. Let's keep it as default and relative permeability data. Here we will use Cori functions to generate the rel perm, the relative permeability. Hysteresis, no, in our case. And water sweep efficiency, let's assume 100%. And for this table, relative permeability to water, the residual saturation, 25%. You can see here, Connaught water saturation, right? And then for the gas relative permeability, the residual saturation 0 0.1, the endpoint 0 0.3 for water, and for gas 0 0.8, okay? Of course, higher than the water. And the exponent, 2,5, 1,5. Okay, you can click plot and you can plot, remove all first, the gas relative permeability versus gas saturation and also this one. Okay, the gas relative permeability versus water saturation. And also this one, relative permeability to water versus water saturation. Okay, so far so good. Let's say we haven't produced the reservoir, okay? So I will not include production history. And because we don't have production history, we will not do history matching, no need for that. So we can click validate 
and then click done. Okay, so you can see we have this tank reservoir, the, the red color, and the aquifer, the blue color. Again, I click. You can see we don't have production history. We haven't produced the reservoir. Okay. We still don't have any well right now. Click done. That's why we don't need to do history matching. These items will all be inactive. Okay. 